talk about sensitive subject matter, and one that is very important right now and that is receiving a lot of attention has to do with the representation of our First Nations peoples in museums, in both national museums but also uh, city, regional, local museums. And part of this is because we've just had a Truth and Reconciliation Commission that addressed the treatment of First Nations peoples and residential schools. Peoples were sent away from their um, communities and uh, made to go to schools, sometimes in other provinces, learning, uh, losing their culture, losing their language, uh, and that has um, had a terrible legacy on relationships, on families, on, on experiences of First Nations peoples. And that is a subject that is being taken up by museums. In particular, um, we have a new national museum, uh, one of two national, new national museums in the last 40 years. It's called the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. It's in Winnipeg. Uh, Manitoba, which is not our nation's capital. Human rights museology is very important right now. If we think about the evolution of uh, museology in general, and particularly the new museology movement and social museology of the 60s and 70s and 80s that focused attention not only on the cultural work of museums, but also on the social work of museums, I think this is a logical progression in that area. Since the 1980s, we've seen a real rise in something we call memorial museums, museums that address traumatic, difficult pasts. And these pasts are very different depending on the country that we're, we're talking about. And since the 90s and certainly uh, post-millennium, we're also noticing a rise in human rights discourses and social justice discourses within these museums. I think it's important because human rights museums, whether they call themselves a human rights museum or address human rights through their programming, uh, can do very important things in working with various communities that have lived through traumatizing experiences. So both in uh, giving voice to victims, in truth-seeking measures, uh, in having an evidentiary role, in providing narratives that can help people understand the past and act differently in the future. Uh, this to me is the role of human rights museology and it's being interpreted differently by different uh, museums and I think what's important is the ability to share the skills that are being nurtured and developed in many different contexts.